What I want to talk about in this lesson is a branching strategy for our repository in this course. When we create an initial repository in Git, we have a single branch, and that branch is called master. So if I were to go ahead and just keep coding here throughout the course and commit everything to master, when you go to get the code, you're just going to see my finished product you're not going to be able to see how we progressively built this application. So one way to do this is to create feature branches. So every time we work on a new feature, feature A, feature B, feature C, we'll create a new branch for that. We'll work inside of that branch until our feature is complete, then we'll switch over to the master branch and merge that branch's changes back into the master branch. So if you look at this at the very end, you're just you're gonna on the master branch, you're gonna see everything. You're gonna see the completed product. But if you look at the branches, you'll be able to jump from branch to branch and see the progression of the app. So that's what I really want to focus on. And I just want to show you a little bit on how I do that here in IntelliJ. So from the command line, this, you know, a lot of people get scared of the command line, and I'm not, you know. It, it, once you once you learn the different commands, it's pretty easy. But anytime I could take advantage of something intuitive like the UI and in IntelliJ, I'm going to do that. So there's a couple of things I want to look at here. In the lower right, you'll see uh, what branch we're on. So git master, that's the current branch. From there, you can change it, but we're not going to do that just yet. I'm going to click on the version control, and you'll see local changes, things that gets changed. You'll see a council, which is just kind of an output of all of the commands that were run uh, for us when we use different uh, uh, screens within IntelliJ. And then you'll see a log. So right now we haven't done much, right? We, we have that initial commit, so we're selected on the initial commit. It shows us which files were uh, committed and our commit message, who committed it, and what happened. We can skip between these, so if I click on this, now I see that readme file that we added and some more information about that. So now what I want to do is create a new feature branch. We're going to just create a simple feature branch called welcome message. And in our Spring Boot application, we're just going to print out to the council, uh, welcome to Spring it. Uh, just to kind of show you how this is going to work throughout the course. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to come back down here to the lower right. If you click on Get Master, we're going to say, I want a new branch. And it's going to ask you for a branch name. So I'm going to say, Welcome Message. Whoops. And we're going to click OK. So the branch welcome message was created. And now you see down here, we're on that particular branch. So we could always come back here, switch to master if we wanted to, but we're on welcome message. So now I'm going to go into my application, and I'm going to go open up our main Spring It application. Oops. And I'm going to simply say welcome to Spring It. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'm going to run the file, our runner application, and we should see a simple print line here that says welcome to spring it, and it does. So that's the feature that we're working on. This is the task that we've been um, assigned to do. So now that that's done, I can stop this. All right, now that we know our application works as intended in our feature branch, our welcome message branch, we need to go ahead and commit to this branch. So again, I'm going to hit Command K. I have a Spring It application that was changed. So let's just say adding a welcome message. All right, so we have a welcome message. And we have some information here about what was changed. And I just want to, I'm going to remove these. And so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and commit. And so I'm committed to that branch. 
Now what I want to do is go ahead and switch back to the master. So let's go ahead and go back to master and we'll check out. And if I look at the master branch, we don't see that change that we committed to our feature branch. So we're done with the feature that we set out to build. How do we get that feature back to our main master branch? So if you go over here to version control and you look at this, there's that add a welcome message. There's a couple ways to do this. One way is to go to branch welcome message and merge. And I sometimes get confused on how that actually works. So, um, so you can see merged welcome message to master. So it actually pulled in the welcome message to the master branch. Um, that's an easy way to do it. Uh, if sometimes if that can be confusing, if you go into merge changes, you can basically look at what branch you're on and what branches you need to merge into. So if you were to jump back to master and you had a change in say your welcome message branch that would show up here, you can click that and merge it in. Now obviously this gets to be a little bit more difficult when you gotta deal with merge conflicts and things of, of that nature. But for this simple example, um, it was pretty simple. So now we can see that we have our changes here in our master branch. So we're going to continue to do that. It's not going to be every single lesson that I'm going to merge or uh, create a separate branch for. But as we're working on a particular feature, that will be in its own branch. So if you go to, if you pull down the repository from GitHub, that's what you can be looking for, switching through the different branches and, and seeing the progression of the code as we kind of go along.